Are we rolling back? Mm -hmm. To whom it might concern. First record that excited me was Sherry Baby by The Four Seasons. Next record that excited me was All Day and All of the Night by The Kinks. Uh, uh, no, no, our second record was Everything the Beatles Did. I'm gonna hold your hand and uh, she loves you and all that stuff. All that stuff, loved it. Then the Kinks. Then the first record I ever bought was uh, Don't Let Me Down by the Beatles with Get Back on the Flip Side. And, and the second record I ever bought was uh, Time Has Come Today by the Chambers Brothers. That's a great damn record. And then I started buying my own records soon after that. My brother had such a huge collection, I didn't have to buy any. But the ones I, I bought, Blue, Blueprint by Rory Gallagher. Don't know why I bought it, but what a terrific record. Uh, uh, Eat a Peach by the Almond Brothers. Don't know why I bought it, but what a great record. Uh, uh, and, and the great records today that I still love and get to hear every now and then, December's Children by the Stones. And uh, I heard the Beatles for sale, you know, over there at, at Box. What a great record. Rubber Soul, I've got it in the other room. It's kind of scratched up. What a great record. Why, and, do, why uh, do you like Rubber Soul so much? So melodic, so beautiful. So many, such, such a variety of sounds and keys. And, uh, and uh, a little bit of soul, uh, the Ramones version of the uh, uh, mid-60s hit, A Little Bit of Soul, I like it a lot. Almost like Sock It To Me Baby, Sock It To Me Baby, Baby, Sock It To Me Baby, Baby, I said Sock It, Gum 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 Gum, To Me Baby, I really love that one. And uh, I've got an autographed picture somewhere in this house of Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels that had the Rock and Roll Trilogy under their belts is a huge hit. Like Eric Burton and the Animals, uh, like the Rascals. Uh, Man, I listened to so much. I had such exposure to so many great records. Uh, records I still enjoy a lot. Uh, some of these new guys, this is the record that excited me most recently. It's by a band called The Cure, and it's their tribute to Jimi Hendrix's version of, of Purple Haze. And it's just fabulous. In some ways, more exciting than Hendrix. I guess because it's newer and so different. And uh, I, I love Johnny Winter, everything he ever did, the Buddha records and all the other ones too. I, I had First Winter, I used to own that record. First Winter by Johnny Winter. Great damn record on Buddha records. They were better than what they went to after that. I mean the records themselves were better. And. Uh, I hadn't bought a new record in a long time, but if I could get an old record, the one I'd want is the Isley Brothers 2 Plus 2, featuring the huge uh, marathon guitar solo of Ernie Isley on Who Was That Lady? Uh, Who Was That Lady? And, and the great version of James Taylor's Don't Let Me Be Lonely Tonight. I, I love that record, and I've got an order out for it, but nobody's got it. And uh, make a long story short, I, 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 I'd like to buy all my own records and, and make sure I always have one of my, all my own records to listen to. Uh, 